So in this video, I want to explain uh, the sorting algorithm called uh, bottom-up merge sort. Uh, the name indicates uh, that this is a variation of merge sort. So, um, so it's no surprise that uh, the same general observations um, are on this slide saying, okay, it's easy to merge two sorted arrays such that the, the result the result uh, is again sorted, an array of length zero or one is always sorted. So um, these were the general observations that uh, were uh, well, the basic observations that 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 helps us to construct merge sort. But um, the standard merge sort uses a recursion to construct a sorted array and. Some people don't like recursion for some reasons, and actually, if you don't like recursion, then bottom-up merge sort is the sorting algorithm that you would like. Yeah. So the uh, way uh, the way bottom-up merge sort uh, constructs the sorted array is, is as follows: instead of doing recursion, it just says, "Okay, if an array of size one is always sorted, why not starting with uh, arrays of size one and merge them to arrays of size two?" And then we do the same trick with arrays of size 2 and merge them to arrays of size 4 and so on and so on. So until we have reached a, only one array of the size that we need. Uh, so if this is the approach, uh, the consequence is that actually no recursion is needed. Yeah? And so if you, if you like, if you like a non-recursive uh, solution, uh, for, uh, then bottom-up merge is your sorting algorithm. Okay, let's see and delve into the details of the sorting algorithm. So this is this is the source code of uh, merge sort, um, and if we do the first step, what we construct is, as you see here, uh, yet another second uh, second array called aux uh, with the same size of the original array. So, the, um, but bottom up merge sort has the same disadvantage as merge sort, namely it uses more memory than than usual. Yeah, so it needs it needs a, uh, a second array of the same size. So in the next step, we set m to be one. So m, this lowercase case m, uh, symbolizes the size of the sorted arrays yeah, that we that we currently have. So uh, if we, if we set m to one, that simply says, okay, uh, we have a lot of arrays of size one which are already sorted. Well, this is a trivial. Uh, so this is very very trivial to see. Yeah, so um, so when with with this setting with the initial setting of m we um, to be, to one we make no mistake, and uh, the purpose of this while loop is to increase the size of this lowercase m, yeah, and uh, with the help of merging. So what happens now is when we, we check whether this m hasn't hasn't reached uh, the size of the array. If this is not the case, we have to merge. Okay. So, if we jump into this into this uh, while loop, what we're doing now is we set i to zero, and you see uh, these uh, green frames. They are telling us, okay, these are these green frames. They contain pairs of sorted arrays. So this is one sorted array, and this is one sorted array, yeah? and this is a pair of sorted arrays. And what happens now in the first in, in, in one uh, iteration of this loop is that those pairs are merged together to become one sorted array with the help of merging. So you see, we have a lot of pairs. Yeah? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pairs, and this is the eighth pair. Uh, but unfortunately, this one is alone. Yeah? We will see what happens with this one. And what uh, what happens now is that we go to all those pairs and uh, we call this merge method here. So what happens actually here is we call the merge method to, to each pair and let it merge. Okay, let's see. So this is the inner loop that walks through all pairs and uh, this this uh, constraint here just checks whether this is a real pair. So this one isn't, so this won't uh, will step over over this one. Yeah, and uh, as long as this is a real pair, uh, it will call the uh, the merge method. So this is the header of the merge method here. You see, it requires two arrays, a and aux, as usual, and three integer um, it indices telling us where those arrays are. L is the beginning of the left sorted array, and M is the beginning of the right sorted array, and R is the end of the sorted uh, right array. 
So these are the indices. And if we call this merge here the, for the first time, what happens is, okay, we call the merge, we have this green frame, and this is the, the pair of sorted arrays that we consider now. And what's, what happens in the first step here is this line. This just copies the left sorted array to, uh, to the auxiliary array. Here we are. And this is the second line that simply uh, copies the right uh, array uh, to, to the auxiliary array. Uh, there is uh, something to tell, but I won't tell you now, but we will see later the, the purpose of this uh, complicated looking construction here. Okay, now we uh, well, now we are here, and then we have copied both arrays to uh, the auxiliary array, and then what we're doing now is just the merge as usual. However, um, yeah, we have i and j as usual uh, in the merge, uh, as in the merge sort, and we have this k here. So what happens as in merge sort is that we walk uh, that we compare these two elements and put them uh, copy them back in the, in the right order to the uh, the uh, original array. So we do the compare. If uh, a of uh, if the jth value is less than the uh, ith value, then we copy the jth value here. But in, th in this case, we copy the ith value because this one is less. Okay, we do the copy here, and we increase the k. And then we do the yet another yet another comparison. We compare it here, and we do the copy. So now we we have finished this operation. Yeah. And so K has reached the, the end of the array of uh, to be filled. And so then the, this method is over and finished. So we proceed. So we increase I uh, with two times M. So we have uh, we have handled two times M uh, uh, parts of the array. So M, remember, is the size of the arrays that, for which we know that they are sorted already. And we handled a pair of this. So um, this is this, that's the reason why I have two times m. So now we proceed with this pair of sorted arrays. So we copy it to the auxiliary array and we do a compare and we copy back in the right order. This happens to the next pair again. We copy it in the right order. And next one. So copy down and copy back in the right order and again copy down copy back in the right order so it's, it seems quite boring copy back copy sorry copy down and then copy back in the right order and here we have we'll see well the first time in a change in the in the in the ordering so we do the copy down and then we do copy back in the right order and here we are, suddenly we have changed it. And this poor one is not handled at all because um, there's nothing to do. Yeah. So now this loop is over, so the inner loop is over, and what we're doing now is we double the size of M. So because we have merged um, arrays of size M to, to sorted arrays, so now we have arrays which are sorted for sure. Uh, and um, and we know that the, the, the arrays, these arrays have doubled their size. So we handle now those pairs of array. Again, we have a pair of sorted subarrays. So this is array, this part, this array is sorted, and this array is sorted. This array is sorted, this array is sorted. So, and they, they build pairs, okay. And here we are, we do the same job again, but with M is doubled now. So now we do the merge, and we uh, you see here the the left is i, this uh, the m is i plus one, uh, i plus m, so the size of the sorted arrays, and then we have this construction here. Now we are dealing with this construction. Uh, in the in, in uh, almost all cases, it is just i plus two times m. Yeah, saying okay. We have an array of size m here, and the second array uh, is i plus m to i plus uh, two times m. Yeah? Uh, so this the array in the no, in the ordinary in the no, uh, ordinary cases is uh, the second array is, uh, of size m two, and uh, this construction with the minimum with this uh, expression and n is just to, to ensure that we never go out of bounds at the end of this of the of the array a. 
here, yeah? And so that's the reason why we have this uh, complicated looking construction, but it just, it shows that we never run out of, out of bounds. Okay, so now we have uh, this sort of array here, we have that sort of array here, and now we see what the merge does. So this line, of, uh, this line just copies the left sort of separate down to the auxiliary array. Okay, this was a copy. Nothing happened actually, but this was a copy. And then we have this complicated line. And uh, now we will see what what is the difference. So we have this sorted separate array here. We copy it down, and what happens is it is copied, but in the reverse order. And uh, why is that? Uh, we will see what happens uh, when we do um, this uh, the, the loop in the merge. Okay. You see, uh, we, we start with I being here and J pointing to this one because now the smallest part of this subarray is at the end of this copied subarray. So we have to compare these outer elements here. Yeah? And if, if this one is less, which it is, then we copy this uh, Jth value to the uh, array. Here we are, we copy it. Now we are, uh, have copied, and then we move this J index uh, towards the, the the middle of both arrays. Yeah, so that's the point. Yeah, if if the J index is less, then we decrease the J and we copy the J value to the A array, and uh, then we increase the K. So K is moved to this position here. So that uh, the question now is what should what shall appear here. And now we have to compare this value, the ith value, with the jth value again. So, and this time the ith value uh, wins, and now the ith value is copied. And this i uh, value, uh, the index i, is moved um, to the middle of the array too. And what happens next is that we do yet another comparison. Here we are. And so the jth value wins again. So this J value is copied here, and now they have the same index. Yeah, okay. And uh, interestingly, we do yet another comparison. So we compare this A J value with I uh, value. Since they both uh, points towards the same value, it doesn't really matter uh, what what the result is because in all both cases we copy the I or the J value, which are equivalent. Um, to the this array, so uh, there is no no problem at all. So what is the benefit of this strange looking construction? Actually, the benefit is that this inner loop here is very simple. It's definitely simpler than the loop of merge dot if you compare this with the standard merge dot. Yeah, in the standard merge dot we have two checks whether we, whether we are out of bounds. Yeah, um, this is not necessarily necess not, this is not necessary if you do this uh, reverse order comp uh, copy here. So you never run out of bounds because uh, the the other array is so to say a guard. If you if you, the J if the J is running into the um, the other array, it will be uh, it won't proceed anymore. If the I I index is running into the other array, it won't um, proceed anymore by construction. So that saves two checks for out of bounds running um, it, within the inner loop. So this might be a speeding speeding up our our, our um, or a sorting algorithm. That's the idea of this construction. So now we handle the same, uh, the next pair of uh, sorted arrays. So as usual, we copy this part down, and then we copy this part in reverse order down to the uh, auxiliary array, and then we do the merge yeah, from 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 uh, from the outside in, uh, to the uh, to the middle of the array. So. That's the way it works. And then we are done with this pair of sorted arrays. Now we have to deal with this pair of sorted arrays. We copy down. We copy this down in now uh, in reverse order. Here we are. And then we do the comparison in uh, outside in, so to say. Here we are, and we are done. And finally, this interesting uh, construction here. So we have one sorted array of size two and one sorted array of size one. So, so they don't have the same size, but actually the, the, this doesn't uh, matter at all, as long as we have correct values of L, M, and R. 
Yeah, so in this case we have L starting here, so this sorted array starts here, and M says the second sorted array starts here, and R says the, the second sorted race is ended here, yeah, which is true. So then we do the copy, and we copy down the second array in reverse order, there's nothing much to see here, and then we do the um, merge again, as usual. So after this iteration, we have, we, we, uh, we increase our M by, again by two. So now we have sorted arrays of size four and now we construct a sorted arrays of size eight. So that's, at, at least that's the idea. Uh, so we copy down, here we are. That, that was the copy of, of the, this, these four elements which are sorted. And then we copy down these two, uh, four elements in reverse order. Here we are, and then we do the merge. And you see how it works. And then we do the same trick again. Here the um, the sort of ray, the first sort of ray is here, the second sort of ray is here. Uh, we do the first copy, then we copy in reverse order, here we are, and then we do the merge again. And we proceed. Now we are uh, we have increased our M to uh, again we doubled it. Now it's sixteen. Yeah. So now um, uh, no sorry um, M is eight. Yeah. So now we have um, arrays of uh, size eight which are sorted. So this is array of size eight and this is array. Um, yeah, it's not of size eight, but it's just the end of the array. So that, that it's possible that this is not uh, getting to the value of eight, but uh, we don't care. So the algorithm uh, handles the situation this uh, properly do, uh, due to the fact that we have this construction with the minimum here. Okay, now we again do the copy and the copy in reverse order. Here we are, and then we do the merge. And after this merge, the whole array is sorted. Here we are. And then we are finished. Here we uh, increase the i, we, now we check, uh, we, we double the m, now m is 16, now m has is greater or equal than n, so now it's finished. Here we are. So that's the, that's the um, way merge sort works and um, there's one one uh, final aspect to, to mention namely that uh, in all cases the number of, of comparisons is equal so regardless uh, what is the initial ordering of the array um, it always will take the same number of comparisons and the same number of assignments or copy operations so to say.